Hi, this is Alex, and in this video, we're going to walk through the entire update Car Dealer Pro 2.0 and show you how to use our software. So everything in Car Dealer Pro really happens in batches. So batches are groups of cards that you're going to upload to Car Dealer Pro. So batches are groups of JPEG images that you want to be identified. To add a batch, you can go to the batches navigation screen on the left hand side, <clears throat> click it, and then there's an add batch button in the top right. You can also click add create a new batch where in the software. So that button is always there. So once you go into your batch here, you got to give it a name. Um, I always like to give it the date and the time just to be give it, so it's unique every time. So we'll say 9 a.m. And then you can choose your batch type, sport, title template, and description template. Hit continue. Okay, these are some bulk settings that you can set as a default for your entire batch. So you can set condition in bulk like near men are better, excellent, very good, or poor, and that'll apply to every card in the batch. You can always make updates and exceptions to that rule, but I find this to be a really efficient way of giving it a bulk condition and then going in and making set a default sale price, like a buy it now, a fixed price there. Um, so I'm just gonna head and put $5 just for the uh, sake of this. And then I hit create. Um, from here, you can choose between searching our database uh, for your card or using magic scan. So that means you're going to upload your card image and we're going to identify it. Most people would choose that. Then you choose whether you have front and back images or front only. I usually have front and back because I have the Rico 8170. And then um, it says drag and drop your files or you can click to upload. I always click so it brings open my file chooser. And then I'm going to the place on my computer where I have my JPEG images saved. I'll go ahead and select those and hit open. And then those are uploaded to Car Dealer Pro. They're strung together, the fronts and the backs. And then we hit continue and they go in and then they become processed. So right now we're identifying them just like that. They're all done. Um, and then they go into what's called from processing, they go into a draft state. So drafts, you should be reviewing to make sure that the title is exactly the card that you've uploaded. And once you've identified that it is correct, you mark them ready to list. And that moves them from draft into ready to list. And that's just a status for your own purpose so that you know that you've reviewed the card and everything looks correct. Um, if this card wasn't correct, you know, you would just click this database match thing and then you can search over our 20 million card database. Uh, so that's really easy there. The other thing is you can click to the pricing and inventory tab and edit your price and also do a little bit of price research. We have the high and uh, low. And then we also have individual line item sales there. So yeah, I'm gonna mark all of these ready to list. They all look good. The other way that you can look at your cards in Car Dealer Pro is in the overview tab. So this is the spreadsheet view. Um, you can see all of the data here and you know, it just kind of helps to, to get that. Um, you can copy and paste. You can do a bulk fill option here by clicking on any of the column titles. And then you could say, I wanna change all of these to $10, fill selected and then those cards will update to a $10 price point. Once you reviewed each card and, and you decided like it all looks good and you're ready to go to eBay as an example, you go to export channels. From here you have the option to go mark only the ones ready to list to be exported or you can do all cards. I usually do ready to list just to make sure that I reviewed each one. And then you'll have the option to select which channels you wanna export. If you wanna do both channels, you can, or you can do eBay only and then click continue. From here, you're filling out the information that's specific to eBay. So, you know, whether that's what type of listing it is, is it going to be an auction or a fixed price listing? And we you know what is the duration here? So is it going to be good till canceled? And then you can also schedule your listings. Are you going to go live immediately with them or you want to schedule them for a future date? You'll choose your shipping options here. So your shipping service, handling time and cost. And all of this is pretty standard, just uh, your eBay, eBay options, like your PayPal email, your item location, all this can be saved in settings and then hit save and continue. And then you just select eBay and hit download CSV. And that'll download to your computer and then you have, you're ready to go for eBay. So check out our video on, on uploading to eBay if that's, if you're wanting some more information on that. I just wanted to show off a few more specific things in the app. Um, you can go to account settings. This is where you can see your current plan. You can see your, your SKU number and set a starting number. 
Uh, a couple other things. This is where you can control in your account settings. You can control, go to templates and control your title template and description template. So this is where you can make the your title look unique and you know customize it to what you would like. Uh, you can also add a default banner to each card. And that's really a great general overview of Car Dealer Pro 2.0. Um, if you want to see something specific, we have smaller videos that go over things in more detail um, for specific channels. Thanks so much and happy scanning.